we want to evaluate the integral of natural log 2x with respect to x. Well, this doesn't fit any of the basic integration formulas, and integration by substitution doesn't work either. So we're left to try integration by parts. So here's the integration by parts formula. So we'll let part of the integral equal u and part of it equal dv. Once we identify u, we'll differentiate to determine differential u, and once we choose dv, we'll integrate to determine v. And I mentioned in the previous video that whenever the natural log function is involved, we want to let u equal the natural log. So for this integral, we'll let u equal natural log 2x. Another reason is that the natural log function isn't easy to integrate, so we don't want to let it equal dv. So if we let u equal natural log 2x, we'll have to differentiate to determine differential u. We'll have the derivative of natural log 2x will be 1 over 2x times the derivative of 2x, which will be 2 times dx. So we had to apply the chain rule here, but notice how these 2's do simplify out, so differential u is just 1 over x dx. So let's write that. Now whatever remains has to be dv. So dv is equal to dx for this problem, which would give us v equals x. The integral of dx, or if you want one dx, would just be x. Now that we have everything, we can apply integration by parts. The integral of natural log 2x with respect to x is equal to u times v, which would be x natural log 2x, minus the integral of v du, well, here's v and here's du, so we'll have the integral of x times 1 over x dx. Well, x times 1 over x would just be 1, so we'll have x natural log 2x minus the integral of 1 dx. Now, when we're first learning how to do this, it really isn't until this point here that we know we've applied this correctly meaning as long as our work is correct here, if this integral is easier to evaluate, then we've done our job correctly. So we have x natural log 2x minus the integral of 1 with respect to x, which would be x, plus our constant of integration. So here's our antiderivative. And from this example, we can see exactly why, when using integration by parts and the natural log function is involved, we don't want to let dv equal the natural log function because look how difficult it is to integrate. And we'll go ahead and take a look at another example in the next video. I hope this was helpful.